Benny. Someone's feeling camera shy. Good morning. Good morning, Benny. Say good morning. Say good morning. <laughs> he said no. Um, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. It's the weekend. Um, I did not just wake up, but I have been laying in bed for a very long time. I, for some reason, have been waking up at like 6.30 every day, just like that's the time I wake up. I think it's because the sun is rising earlier and earlier, like every day. Um, and I normally wake up when the sun comes up, but today I was like, no, I don't have anywhere to be early this morning. So I put the pillow over my head and I don't think I ever fell back asleep, but I at least like rested um until like eight ish and i've just been laying in bed on my phone for an hour um so i'm about to get up get my day started but that was a very nice start to my day so we are having a little bit of a self-care morning um i just put on the chemical peel from the ordinary um because my skin has been a little bit breaking out i also just realized i didn't put my apple watch on so we're gonna do that um, so yeah, obviously I literally just got out of bed, still in my Christmas pajamas, so it felt like a good time to do a little cleanse of my face, um, and I also am going to paint my toenails because it's been a minute, and I get my fingernails done regularly, um, but I don't like people touching my feet, they're very ticklish, I don't enjoy pedicures, I got one and it was not fun. Um, so I have decided it's time to paint my toenails and I have so much junk. I have this just like bucket of nail stuff and there's just like, I have a billion nail files. I have three different, oh, Boone thought those were toys. Um, I have three different nail polish removers. Um, yeah, I don't know what color I should do them. My nails, one hand is pink and one hand is yellow. So I don't want to do pink or yellow. But I really like this pink. <laughs> Maybe a nice purple? Or do we go like boring and do like a normal color? I mean, all of these colors are pretty normal. But um, I don't know. Or should we use this? This is the pixie polish that we use at the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. I bought a thing of it at um, Cast Connection for the mums. It's pixie dust straight from Tinkerbell. I had to have it. Um, but wow, that just made me a little bit emo. It's so cute though. Um, I'm not going to use that, but the idea is fun. Oh, we could add a little iridescent top coat on it. Maybe, should I just do blue? I feel like blue is a crowd favorite. I don't really have like nice nail polishes. Oh, I could do white. White might be fun. Maybe I'll do white. That's fun in summary and do like an iridescent top coat on it. It's like dark. I think we're gonna do white. Let's do white. <laughs> gonna get approved she literally told me yesterday because obviously they came into the inspection um, and we had like already given her all the payment stuff like income whatever and she even sent her an email she was like awesome like it looks like it was approved um, like we'll send you further instructions later but I was like waiting for the email that said hi this is your apartment this is your new address you got it this is your move-in date and we got it I'm so excited so 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 excited um, yesterday when I went on my walk, I actually went down like to the new apartment because it's on like the complete other side of the complex that I live in now. Uh, it's still obviously same complex, but just like other side of it. Um, so I went and just had a little peek around. I'm really excited. So excited, so excited, so excited. I'm excited obviously to live with Kate, but I'm also excited. It's a three bedroom. So like that's really exciting. I'll have like a full office. Crazy. Ah, what a good day. Wow. I'm so excited. Also, I was just looking at the blockout dates for cast and they lifted the blockouts for self-admission um, tickets, passes, whatever, for Animal Kingdom a couple days next week. And one of the days is Tuesday, and Caitlin's always off on Tuesdays. So I was like, let me just let me see. 
Is that the day we're getting our tattoos? No, I think that's the next week. Let me double check. Okay, yes, we do not, we're getting the tattoos the week after. Um, but self-admission is unblocked, which means Caitlin obviously can get in. Um, but normally she gets me in with guest tickets. Uh, so that one's not self-admission, obviously. But I had like 15 tickets from being a cast member myself. And when I got laid off, they um, made it so that I basically just had then like 15 admission tickets um, and anytime self-admission is unblocked I can use them either for myself I can use them for friends and family um, whoever I want to get in um, so yeah I am using one of those tickets because they expire in September my mom's gonna come visit me this summer but like we're not gonna need that many tickets um, and like I want to use them because they're just gonna go to waste if I don't um, and Disney laid me off because of COVID. So like, I want to get my full benefits uh, out of it. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to go to DAC on Tuesday, which I'm very excited about. Probably going to have a couple drinks at the Nomad Lounge. That's our favorite thing to do at DAC. Look at me excited to go to DAC. Who'd have thought? It's not even that I'm excited to go to DAC. It's a, I'm excited. Well, I'm excited to go to Nomad Lounge. Folk just reopened. So we're going to try and do that too. Um, and like, I don't know, cast have been blocked out of every park except for Epcot the entire year. So I haven't been to a park other than Epcot since December. Um, so yeah, I'm just really excited to like go somewhere else. <laughs> and I don't even like Dak, but I am very excited to go there. I'm really just waiting to go to Magic Kingdom. I cannot tell you how badly I need slash one a Magic Kingdom day, but they don't seem to be unblocking any of those because they're so full of um, normal guests that they're like, mm, well, we have paying people that will be here and fill up the reservations, so they're not opening it up to cast. Um, so that sucks, but yeah, I'm excited to go to DAC, and obviously I'm gonna vlog it, so we'll get some different Disney content, which is good. I feel very, very, very frustrated right now, um, so I'm gonna rant to you all slash ask for your opinion. Um, so as you know, I have shirts coming out on Monday. I always do shirts as a pre-order to guarantee that everybody that wants one can get one. This means I do not have any of the shirts just yet. Um, I order what people order. Normally I don't order extras either. Like I literally just get what people buy. And especially for these ones because I'm trying to raise money for the Trevor Project. Like I really wanted to do a pre-order. But now I'm running into the issue. Comfort Colors is like really struggling. Um, I don't know if it's because there's a lot of people making shirts or just with COVID, they're having trouble doing what they need to do. Um, but they're, at least like from my supplier, their inventory is really changing daily. And that makes it very hard. Like I had basically decided yesterday that I was gonna do the little rainbow design on a yellow pocket, like front pocket shirt. Well, I don't know why I was just like, let me just like, take a look at like what's going on and the reason that i because originally i just wanted to do it on a regular shirt and have it in the center but they were out of i think a size large and i was like okay well that's a pretty popular size i'm not going to do that so the pocket tee though they had in every size and i was like perfect i'll just do that it's not what i really wanted but like people still seemed really excited about it and like they had every size so it was fine i just had a feeling i was like let me just check like what's going on now the pocket square shirt is out of large and extra large in that color and i'm like okay that's those are two very popular sizes um the cinderella shirt has let's see i think the only one that they are out of is a 3xl um which i do normally offer um, yeah, they're out of a 3XL, but they do have a 2XL and a 4XL. So like that one to me isn't the end of the world, but like I may check tomorrow and they're out of like mediums, which is normally my most popular seller. So now I just like don't know what to do. <laughs> um, I'm trying to decide like, okay, do I just keep the pre-order open for one day and hope that in that one day, the sizes that I need don't sell out because they're still not a guarantee. Do I keep it open for three days like I normally do? And if people's size like suddenly sells out, I'm gonna have to contact them and say, hey, would you like another size? Would you like me to cancel your order? But the problem is like, I like to order these like as soon as possible. So if I'm waiting for people to respond, that's more time for them to sell out of shirts, um, which is an issue or like, I don't know, not everybody checks their email every day. And like, I can't 
weight. So then I'm going to have to make that decision for people, um, which I don't really want to have to do. Or um, the other option is not do it as a pre-order. And I just kind of guess, okay, these are the sizes that I think people are going to want and go from that. Um, but then that limits who can get a shirt. And I, I highly doubt this many people would actually buy shirts. Um, but I had a lot of people turn on the notifications for the pre-order starting. So I like to think that these shirts are going to do well and I don't want to limit and say, Oh, I'm only going to get 50 of this size. And then 200 people want that size. And like, that's, money that I could have donated to like a really great organization. Cause that, at the end of the day, that's why I'm doing this is to raise money for the Trevor project. Um, so now I just don't know what to do. And I just asked on Instagram to see like what other people think. Um, and like people that are like going to be the ones buying these shirts, like what they think. Um, I just feel really frustrated because I was really excited about these and I already was feeling not great about it because all of the colors that I wanted, they were out of stock of. And I was like, okay, that's fine. So I picked other colors and now those other colors that I picked are out of stock. Um, so if you have any advice for me, that would be awesome. I've looked at other suppliers also, um, and they have even less inventory than like the people I normally used to. And I want to do comfort colors because I know that everybody likes comfort colors the best. Um, yeah, I don't know. And I like that. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Any advice would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Still feeling stressed, but I feel a little bit better because Caitlin came home and she brought me some new pants! They're Marvel pajama pants! Look how cute they are! They don't have Wanda on them, but it's okay. I'll still love them. Thank you! You're welcome. I'm all decked out in my LSU gear because me and Caitlin are headed to a crawfish boil that is put on by LSU ambassadors, right? No. LSU alumni. Yes, the Orlando chapter of the LSU Alumni Association. The Orlando chapter of the LSU Alumni, Alumni Association is putting together a crawfish boil in Orlando. Kate loves crawfish. You wanna hear something fun? What? So you know how on the back of your shirt it says go Tigers, G-E-A-U-X? Yeah. The Orlando chapter is Orland D-E-A-U-X. D-E-A-U-X. Oh God. That is it's awesome. cute and fun, right? Yeah, that is cute and fun. Um, I don't eat crawfish. I don't eat any seafood. Um, but they have a burgers and brats option. So that's what I will be having. But Kate is very excited to eat some crawfish, right? Very excited. And you're getting my corn. Yeah, I like the corn. <laughs> All right, made it to the thing. <laughs> the, the what? The thing. Um, I'm not going to bring my camera because I don't know the vibes of this. I don't know, but I am going to film some stuff on my phone, so I apologize that the quality is about to get um, not as good, but let's go. Let's go eat some crayfish. I ain't eating that. What am I eating? <laughs> brats burgers and burgers. Burgers and brats. Ticket. Burgers That's and me. brats. Yeah. There's a cute little area. We're in some park. Do you know what it's called? Bill Frederick Park. Bill Frederick Off Park. Turkey Lake. Yeah. But there's like a huge body of water over here. There's a pool. It's a nice little place. And we both have on, I have on my LSU shirt. Kate has on her LSU shirt. Go Tigers. So, we're at the crawfish boil. We met. <laughs> a necklace. <laughs> Look at that, necklaces. We've been having lots and lots of fun. It's fun talking to so many Louisiana people, pretending that I'm You're a Louisiana there. girl. You are I Louisiana am a Louisiana girl. girl. How was your crawfish? It was really good. I did not eat any. It could not be for me. What did you eat? A brat. A brat? I didn't know I liked this. Bronze brats. Bronze brats. Coming soon. Coming soon. Um, but yeah. That's Smash the damage. Crawfish. Looks good. Bron, what are these called? Necklaces. Bron, what does it call the beach? It's called the necklaces. It'd be like that. Do we get to take these home? Yep. A souvenir. Oh my god, stop. This is my wow. high school color. should colors. do purple and gold. Okay. You should do purple well, and gold. Kate and purple and gold. Are those for me? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yay, a real time. Get fan. it! <laughs> Listen, I'm not gonna lie. Caitlin is now driving because I'm four, five, five okay. purple hazes in. <laughs> I drink a lot. 
It's fine. I had so much fun at this little crawfish boil though. I know Kate already explained like the logistics of it, whatever, but as you saw, if I included the clips, which I'm sure I did, um, they had assigned tables and it just so happened that the table we were at, um, they watched my videos or one of them did. Um, and it was just, I don't know, it was like so much fun. Just like she knew so much about my life already and that just like, I don't know, they also worked for Disney and it was just like, I don't know, I really had so much fun. Like I wanna come to this every year. It's Anna and Travis. Yeah. We dedicate this vlog to you. Literally. Um, yeah, they were just so lovely. We had such a good time. It was they were such so a good fun. time, yeah. Um, and obviously the crawfish. Yeah, I, so anytime Caitlin gets crawfish, I always eat the corn out of it because I like corn, Kate doesn't really like it. I like corn, but I like you more. Thanks. <laughs> but like, she was mad spicy. Like, mad spicy. I only ate like half of it. Um, and we, we've gotten crawfish other times in Orlando. That's a lie, we've only got it one time. Or, she and I have only got it once. It was trash. It was so bad, like straight up just boiled in water. It had no seasoning. So I knew here, like this is an LSU thing, like the crawfish was gonna be better, but it was, whew, she was mad seasoned. Um, I had a brat because I don't eat crawfish as we know. Um, they had brats, burgers, and hot dogs. And apparently we were just living large and I said, let's try a brat. Um, and it was actually pretty good. There was also jambalaya. We never made it to the jambalaya though. Never found that. And the desserts, were media it was like they went to Publix and got a case of cookies. It was no, it was a um they had cupcakes. Somebody made cupcakes. It was a bring your own dessert thing. Like they got yeah, it. it was a potluck dessert got it. situation. But we also went to the dessert station like three hours in. So yeah. all of the like homemade good stuff was, was gone. gone. Yeah. And it was we've the, we've been here for like two and a half hours. Yeah. We because we were just sitting there chatting forever. Yeah, so it was so much fun. By the time like we were like, oh, okay, everybody's like leaving, getting yeah. up and stuff. Then we like walked past the dessert station and like most yeah. of the stuff was already gone. And it honestly like this park is such a cute little area. Like it was so nice and like it's obviously hot outside but like they had there picnic tables there's a breeze like i had such a 10 out of 10 time and i even yeah. got some beads so like some purple and gold beads purple too. and gold beads yeah i had to get that one two ones. um we got free koozies we got a bunch of magnets got some stickers got you didn't even know you were gonna get a bunch of free beer today no you? yeah I, alcohol was included too i didn't even know that so that was a fun little surprise and you learned today that you're a big purple haze fan i'd be like that we are now headed, for some reason, to the Florida Mall. Can I know why we're going? No. Okay, Caitlin just asked me where we are about to leave because I drove here, she's obviously driving now, um, and said, do you think we could run an errand real quick? And I was like, yeah, where do you need to go? She said, the Florida Mall, and I said, okay. Because we're kind of on that side of town because we're like in Orlando-ish area. 27 like, minutes from the Florida yeah, Mall though, like so it's really not that close. Not that close, but while we're, we're out. We're like Dr. Phillips area. Yeah, but yeah, out, you know? while we're out. May as well, apparently, go into the Florida Mall. Oh, I look good. Wow. Um, we got home a little bit ago. We watched um, some Younger. We are all caught up on that now, which is fun and exciting. I have a canker sore and it really hurts. There it is. Um, we also had leftover pizza for dinner, so that was delicious. And uh, we are out of cookie dough, so I'm gonna make some of that so that we have cookie dough for the next little while. Uni, do you wanna come say goodnight? Does Caitlin wanna come say goodnight? I will. Okay, it's time for the three best parts of the day. I'll go first. Okay. Number one, wow. officially. We're shaky. Yeah, sorry. Officially getting approved to the radio apartment. Was that today? Yeah, that was this morning. Oh my god. I know, it was like another like, lifetime ago. I can't believe I worked a full shift today. Yeah, that's crazy. And then had a full day after. Yeah. Um, number two was the crawfish boil, making some new friends and just like having an overall really good time. And number three was probably my new WandaVision pins, which I don't even think I sold, sold, showed. I'm going to go grab them. Okay. Do you want to do your three best parts? Sure. I want to hear them though, so talk loud. You need me to scream. Yeah, a little bit. Um, the three best parts of my day, number one was also getting approved for our apartment because, um... I'm very excited to move in with Braun, and um, we didn't apply for it today, but like officially getting approved and finding out what our address is gonna be, super exciting. Number two, the crawfish boil was just such a good time. I love crawfish, and we genuinely had so much fun, and like 
met some fun people. It was just such a good time. Number three, um, Bra Braun. Who's Braun? Braun bought me some new kicks today because Braun has recently gotten into wearing like chunky white sneakers and um she bought me a pair because she wants she wants me to be cool and trendy like her so i got some new shoes thanks to braun so the reason that caitlin want to go to the florida mall today um is because they have a box lunch there and they came out with some pins that are exclusively in store at box lunch and they're WandaVision, 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 WandaVision. Okay, so it's two different pins. There's Wanda and there's Vision. And it's like a little TV set. There's Agatha and Norm, all their friends. Geraldine. Geraldine, the other boy's name I don't remember. Time for bed. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye.